Today, we discuss meatloaf. No, not the hunk of meat someone decided to turn into pizza. Who does that, by the way? It's not even pizza. Just meatloaf with cheese and pepperoni on it. This is meatloaf. But I digress. I'm here to talk about the performer and rock legend who shares a name with his culinary counterpart. The man who can go up on stage and attract a crowd just by talking. This man is Meatloaf. Marvin Lee Day, also known as Meatloaf, was an influential singer, songwriter, and actor known for his powerful and dramatic voice which he used in live performances to captivate audiences throughout the world. Meatloaf sold over... 65 million records worldwide, starting with Bad Out of Hell in 1997. However, he found more success in Europe, especially in England, where his popularity spiked in 2006. He also appeared in television and movies, starring in hits that included the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Fight Club. Additionally, he starred in the television show The Apprentice. Meatloaf died January 20th, 2022 from apparent COVID-19 in Nashville, Tennessee. Meatloaf was one of the most accomplished singers of his generation. He experienced traumatic difficulties throughout his early life. His mother, Wilma, also a musician, died at a young age, leaving his father, Orvis, to take care of him. Unfortunately for Meatloaf, his father abused him, which culminated in a murder attempt, ultimately forcing Meatloaf to move out of his home. The constant abuse, both physical and mental, eventually paid its toll on the younger a day. It was not just simply his father that caused stress and added pressure, but those around him, including teachers and coaches, who supposedly came up with the name Meatloaf, which stuck with him throughout his career. According to legend, a football coach told him to hurry up, you big hunk of meatloaf. Although funny, this caused self-esteem issues for meatloaf. As the years progressed, he eventually dropped out of college in Texas, which set him on his musical journey. Thus, meatloaf found his way to California to start a career, which, which is and was a common move for those longing for a career in the entertainment industry. In Los Angeles, he created Meatloaf Soul, an homage to his nickname. Although he was shy, his powerful and unique voice on stage helped others see his potential and talent. Meatloaf truly was a self-made man, making it on his own with little to no backing from his father or family. At a young age, he found himself remade as the lead singer of a band in 1970s California, surrounded by like-minded and supportive friends. Eventually, the band was signed to a major record label, paving the way for a legendary career in the music industry. His band also became the opening act for many other famous bands, including The Grateful Dead and The Who, who were and still are rock legends. Later, he moved to Michigan, where he performed with another singer named Sean Murphy or Stoney, and they formed the group Stoney and Meatloaf. A career struggle for Meatloaf was that he lacked a defined style or genre. He wasn't really rock, country, or opera, but a fusion of styles. His music reflected the experience he lived through in life. His music was emotional and intense, just like his childhood. This lack of a category hindered his career as the music industry mostly pigeonholed performers into certain categories according to their sound. Simply, musicians, especially in rock, needed to fit a certain stereotype in order to find great success, so they could sell albums and sell out rock venues throughout the world. That was a challenge for Meatloaf. His heavy stature and physical appearance did not play well for him, as other lead singers of the era carried a certain onstage aura and style that Meatloaf couldn't pull off solely on looks alone. Meatloaf knew this, which only further impacted his self-esteem and confidence. Although he was finding some success, more than most people could ever hope to attain, he still lacked the exposure he needed to achieve the level of fame he wanted. It took a performance on Saturday Night Live in 1978 to get his name out into the general public. His record Bad Out of Hell sold 65 million copies globally, 
This record put him on the map in terms of cementing his legacy as a performer. Years later, in 1993, he came out with Bad Out of Hell 2. This record produced one of his most popular songs ever, I'd Do Anything for Love. Here's I'd Do Anything for Love. Oh! 
This was a number one hit and sold 15 million copies. Additionally, Meatloaf had an accomplished movie career. Besides the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Fight Club, he appeared in Wayne's World and Formula 51. Without question, the most iconic film for Meatloaf was the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which further helped launch his early music career as it showcased the range of his voice. Given the challenges he confronted as a child, Meatloaf ended up having a very successful career. His personal life and all of the abuse he confronted from his father impact his career at an early age. Not only that, but his abuse stuck with him throughout his life, affecting relationships with not only family members, but other musicians. Luckily, his mother provided that musical instruction or basis for him to grow his interest in a career as a musician. On the other hand, his father abused him, which kick-started his desire to start a career in California. In an odd way, both parents set him on his path or destiny. His mother gave him the talent that carried his career and led to countless concerts and accolades as a musician. His father, through mostly negative influence, provided Meatloaf with the motivation to leave and never go back to his father or hometown. He had to find success as a musician, and he had no other option left, and no other option with his family in Texas. Still, Meatloaf managed to overcome the many hardships he endured throughout his life. Meatloaf also had anxiety, which was due to being overweight. He learned to manage it and could perform on stage regardless. He admitted to having few friends, but music allowed him to reach people. Meatloaf died at the age of 74 on January 20th, 2022. So I guess Meatloaf isn't just a food. Meatloaf is a rock legend that deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as others from his era.